the tank is a stylish alternative to boozy beverages. Bonjour, sharks. My name is Melanie. I'm the founder of Gia. I was born and raised in Lyon, France, and I now live in Los Angeles, California. I'm seeking $250,000 for a 5% equity stake in my company, Gia. Hmm. Sharks, how many times have you wanted to take a night off with booze and the only option at the party was water? How many times have you wanted to take a night off of drinking and been asked if you're sick or pregnant? I'm here to take the word drinking back from alcohol. That's why I created Gia. Gia is delicious. It's fresh, bitter, complex. It has notes of yuzu, rosemary, juicy Riesling grapes, and a sharp kick of citrus, and it's non-alcoholic. There's truly only good things in it. A Gia Spritz is a perfect accompaniment to any celebration without a hangover the next morning. So how do you drink Gia? You can mix it with your favorite bubbles or have one of our ready-made spritzes. Sharks, who is ready to get over the influence with Gia? <laughs> wow, how do we drink it? Let's, well, I wanna try it. Let's have one together. Okay. So you can have one of our ready-made spritzes this one is mixed with sparkling water. This one is mixed with our homemade ginger beer. It's my personal favorite. And lime and salt is our newest one. Oh, wow. That's really Melody, How many nice. calories in this? Uh, about 50. Mm. In the whole thing. In the whole mm. thing. Melly, this is really nice. Mm. I love this one. The idea is that it's an alcoholic amaro, like an Italian drink, you know, akin to a Campari or oh, an Oh, that's what it reminds spritz. me of, like yes. a Campari. Exactly. Or, yeah. Um, but an all-natural version, much lighter, and you know exactly what's in it. Oh, yeah, it's nice. C'est bon, c'est très bon. Merci beaucoup. It's got bitters in it. <laughs> très, très bon. What do you sell each one of these for, and what does it cost you to make? Yes, so we actually just increase our prices, and interestingly, our sales have gone up. Um, so our bottle now retails for $38. It has 10 to 12 servings in it, and it costs us six and a half dollars to make. Our spritz costs us $1.25 to make. In six months, that will be 70 cents only, and it retails for $5. Let's talk about the business, hopefully, we're going to hear some great sales numbers. Last year was our first calendar year, and we were 75% online because we were still kind of on the tail end of COVID. And? We made two and a half million dollars. Whoa! What? Oh, mama, yes. How did you, did you sell you make that any two, and two and a half million dollars? We just launched with an Instagram post. That's it. And what? it took off. And so and, did you make so any money on that two and a half million last year? Not yet, but we invested very heavily into this year, and we have a two-year How much did you lose? last year? A little under a million dollars. Oh, you oh. lost How a million much did dollars? You put in? Well, we have a million dollars worth of inventory. How much did you raise? We had raised um, three and a half million dollars and we're, oh. 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 And we're currently raising $6.5 million. Sir, Melly, who did you Why? raise? No, How was the you, valuation? at three and a half million raise. Um, well, the first uh, 900 was a safe uh, at um, seven and a half million dollars. Your first 900,000 that you raised pre-revenue? Yes. It was everyone I had ever worked for. I worked very hard. The, you know, I worked for companies like Sweet Green and Glossier. I worked at Goldman Sachs and the people that had seen my work before. How much do you still own of the business? I still own 57% of the business after this six and a half million dollar round. Wow, that's What impressive. valuation is a six and a half million dollar round at? It's a $35 million pre-money valuation. What? Oh. what? Holy. So 41, by our numbers, 41 million, because that's pre-money versus post-money. 41 million, what's sales gonna be this year? Four and a half, doubling next year. We have a Wait, I need an alcoholic drink. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you kidding? And Melanie, why are you offering us 250,000 for 5%? And if I did the numbers, you're giving us a 5 million valuation today. Like, I, I, I'm just trying to understand that conversation with the people you're pitching it to. Yes. at 40 million yes. and then telling them you're giving it to us at five. Yes, well, you know, this equity is directly coming out of my shares. Which is smart, good for you. I, I want someone to come in and help me build this into a huge business. We launched in the depths of the pandemic, so we've already overcome, you know, a lot of hurdles. Um, currently, we're sold in 750 accounts. I personally reached out to at least 400 of these accounts myself on Instagram during Good COVID. Good for you. Good for you. 2020, there was no other way. And I said, hey, like, 
I'm making this drink. Your chef, I really admire. I would love to send you a bottle. Please try it and give me feedback. I really believe non-alcoholic drinks are the future. Smart and thing every to do. restaurant in a few years will have non-alcoholic menus. And I really hope that you'll join me on this adventure. Here's my thought about this. So I, I um I think you're super impressive to raise that amount of money and you're one of the few that came in to show us the value that we add, but I unfortunately can't drink this. I have acid reflux. I, I want to be in this, but I can't because I don't, I can't drink this stuff. So I'm out. Well, thank you very much. Listen, Melanie, you are amazing. For me, when I invest in something, I have to be able to partake in it. And unfortunately, Damon and I have something similar. I cannot eat citrus or bitter things. It just affects me, and I'm just so sorry about that because I love you. That's I wish you good luck, but Thank unfortunately, so I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Melanie, the category you chose is one of the hardest ever because it's either expensive to ship them, it's expensive to store them, it's expensive to get shelf space for them and to keep it. Getting to $50 million in sales to really have an impact is gonna cost you 50 to $100 million. And so for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you very much. Look, Mark's right. You've somehow picked the hardest category to get into and you're killing it. Melanie, I'll give you the 250,000 and I'll give it to you for the 5%. That's my offer. Do we have a deal? Wait. You may get an offer from somebody who's actually in this business. You're in the wine business? Yep, I sure am. Because, so, you know, so, there's no alcohol in well, this. Well, you want to hear my offer or not? With Look, all you're gonna, respect you're gonna to get Kevin. a second so, offer. Melody, I, don't, I don't want to argue. I don't want to negotiate against other people. I'm making a bet Do on you. you want to hear another I'll offer I'll give you the 250000 for exactly what you asked for. If you don't want that offer, I'm happy to step out, and you can negotiate with Kevin. I feel like it's not fair not to hear everyone else. Ooh. I think that's reasonable. Ooh. Is that okay? You may uh, not like my offer. Melanie, I'm out. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> I'm giving you exactly what you asked for. He's Actually, right, Melanie. He's, he's right. I mean, at a certain point, you got to decide as an entrepreneur, why did you come here? Because I think if someone comes in here and I give them exactly what they're looking right, for, Robert. and then they want to hear more, I'm not sure where that conversation's going. So all due respect, I so, wish you all the best. Good luck. Thank you. So my offer isn't going to change because of what happened here. Absolutely. So I know what I'm worth. I also know that I'm in this business, and I also know this category. And everybody's talking about how difficult it is, and they're right. But I'm not doing it for 5%. I'm too oh. valuable. Oh. I want 10%. Oh. oh. Your valuation just got crushed. Oh. oh. Because I have to get up in the morning and work on this. I do. Oh. You can moan and groan all you want. Have another drink. I'm you sorry, Melanie. You closed her deal. I'm the Robert. only shark that is Chef Wonderful and Mr. Wonderful. That's my I know. Brand. That's why That's you should reason. give her, you know, a million yeah. for that. You can say anything you want. You're out. What do you think, Melanie? That's true. I'm not in a position to accept an offer like that without doing wrong to the people that have supported me from the beginning. Percent. So I it's unfortunately. Your stock. It's not she your stock. Yeah, she has 57. That puts her under 50. That puts her She's under. not going to go under 50. 50 and she can I, do whatever she wants. You knew that already, Kevin. I'm doing it for 10%. I'm honored, but I can't accept it. Good for you, Melanie. Thank you, Melanie. Good luck, Melanie. Thank you so much. Good luck. Good luck. Bye. I walked away without a deal. I, you know, I feel like it was fair to hear everyone out and I took the risk and um, I don't know if Robert will regret backing out of that offer, but you know, I hope he lets other people speak in the future. I think she made a mistake, Robert. She should have taken your offer for I sure. I think she made a but big I, mistake. Rule number one in sales, when you get the order. Robert, what does ABC stand for? Always be closing, Thank baby. You. And rule number two in business, never trust Kevin. <laughs>